there beautiful people welcome to day one of the glow up challenge we're getting straight into this full body sweat workout starting with the high knee skip ready and go so you want to skip with high knees i mean it's all in the title really but what i want you to focus on is keeping your core nice and tight keeping good posture so the chest is up you're standing nice and tall that knee comes all the way up as the arms drive opposite arm to opposite leg keeping a good 90 degree bend in the arm when the arm comes back behind that elbow comes nice and high behind you skipping staying light on the feet you're doing so well as we ease into today's workout Amazing, great job. Now you'll have 20 seconds rest before we move on to the next move that is the plank toe tap. So starting on the mat in the plank position in five, four, go. So what I want you to do is start in the plank position and then shift the body weight back, shift the hips up and back as you reach the opposite hand to the opposite toe. I want you to keep the core nice and tight. We're not caving in the back. We're really using the core here, especially when you go into that plank position. You'll feel a nice stretch in the calves and the hamstrings as you reach that hand towards the toe, controlling the movement, getting strong in the upper body. You're doing so well. And you smashed it, relax for 20 seconds before we move on to the high knee pull down. So we're back up on our feet. And we're getting those knees up, getting a little bit more breathless. This is a full body sweat, you've got this. We're burning, burning fat here, ready and go. So I want you to imagine you're like pulling the arms down to lock the knees in. So that knee comes up and those arms drive down. So driving the elbows down and reaching up towards the sky as you skip from one leg to the other. Again, keeping the core in chain, engaged rather and the chest nice and high. So we're being really active with the arms. Nearly there. And relax, well done, great job, you're doing so well. Next up, we have some good old trusty squats. So keeping good form, we're gonna work the lower body with this compound movement. So to set up for these, I want you to keep your feet around about hip width apart, feet slightly turned out. I want you to engage your core, making sure that the weight is through your heels so that you can wiggle your toes and push the hips back. So the hips go back, chest stays up and you squeeze the glutes to come back up, keeping that core engaged, making sure that you're not sticking out your booty. So you're not sticking your bum out and um, you're keeping that core engaged and the hips tucked in but the hips as the hips move back for the squat the whole upper body moves back as well as the weight goes through the heels awesome job you can stretch it out if that feels good because we're doing some lunges with a kick next so we're really doing a nice powerful click click kick i don't know why i'm not talking right today Day one, this is, this is a great sign for how it's gonna go. Ready and go. So starting off with a good sturdy lunge. So one leg stepping back behind and then you come up. Make sure you're nice and stable as you stand up. If you need to take your time, that's okay. Cause then we kick the leg out in front, nice and powerful. Imagine there's a target about eye level that you're really just trying to kick against really powerfully. So opposite arm to opposite leg, driving all the way through, staying balanced, making sure that you're still getting in a good lunge though. I want you to really drop those hips back, keeping good alignment of the knees. So that knee in front is not falling in front of the toes. Awesome job, smashed it. I love that one. It feels really strong and powerful. It's so cool. 
and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Ready? And go. So lunge back, kick out. Lunge back, kick out. You're doing so well. If you find it hard to balance when you're doing the lunges, then what I want you to try and do is um, put your feet a little bit wider apart, and I mean laterally wider, so um, making sure that you're not doing one foot directly behind the other, in line with the other, but it's just out to the, to the side. So your feet are about a hip width apart as you lunge back. Amazing, well done, you're doing so well. You've got this, do you feel strong? You are strong. We're doing the lateral crawl next, so working the whole body, particularly the core. This is an excellent move. I love doing this uh, during my warm-ups actually, to engage the core and activate it, ready and go. So this is a real functional movement. So what I want you to do is crawl to the side, and then crawl back the other way. You can do as many steps as you want each side. I would suggest around about seven or 10, uh, whatever you've got space for, but enough so that you can go uh, side to side a few times. Now, while you're doing this, I want you to imagine that you've got a tall glass of water sitting on your back and you don't want to spill a drop. So you want to keep nice and controlled. You don't want that back shifting too much. Uh, you want to keep that core engaged as you crawl from side to side, you're doing so well, breathing through. Amazing job, well done. You can stretch it out if you'd like. So we're back up on our feet next for some star jumps. So feel free to grab a drink, uh, take your time before we get straight back into it. <laughs> Are you ready? And go. So reaching the arms up overhead, touching them together at the top. Core is engaged, breathing through. Keep going, you've got this. Well done, nearly there. Excellent job, well done. Then we're doing some forward crawls. So back down on our hands and feet, not quite hands and knees, and we're crawling forward and backwards. Make sure you've got enough space, ready, and go. So again, imagining that tall glass of water that's on your back and you don't want to spill a drop. Keeping the core engaged, you're doing so well. The knees hovering above the ground, breathing through. Keep going, you're nearly there, you're doing so well. Great job, smashed it, well done. All right, we've got the lateral squat walk next. So we're getting in squat position and walking side to side, staying nice and low, really engaging the muscles of the lower back. You can see I'm starting to get a bit sweaty now. Maybe you are too, that's okay, and go. So keeping good form, the weight is through the heels, the chest is up, the hips are back, the core is engaged, we're walking side to side. Again, you can do as many steps as you would like each way. I would suggest around about four or five, as long as you're doing the same number of steps in each direction, that's all that matters. Remembering to keep low. I know it's tempting to want to come up, but stay nice and low. You've got this. Yes, it's tough, but you are so much tougher. You can do whatever you put your mind to because you're powerful and strong. And that's that. Whatever you decide to do, you can smash it. Amazing job and relax. Well done. 
then we've got some good old mountain climbers ah oh, if you know me you know that these are just i don't know one day i'm gonna do them and they're gonna be easy but i find them super challenging but they are an incredible exercise for working your cardiovascular system upper body strength and core and go so hands below shoulders nice and strong knees coming up to the chest squeezing that core nice and tight breathing through I want you to keep good form as you do this. I don't want your hips up in the air. So as though you're in the plank position, bringing that high knee through, breathing through, you've got this. Keep going, you're doing so, so well. And relax, excellent job, nailed it. Then we're working the upper body, working the triceps with some tricep dips. So grab a step, whether it's the second step of your staircase, a chair or a bench like I'm using, something that can support your weight. Ready and go. Now I want you to make sure um, that you have good form so hands up on the platform lowering the body down pushing back up going for full depth so you really want to lower all the way down if you want to make this easier just bring the feet in closer towards the body and that will essentially mean that you're carrying more weight through the lower body rather than the arms and um, if you want to make it more difficult then kick the feet out of it so uh, make the legs nice and straight uh, so you're carrying more of the body weight through the arms Excellent job, well done. Then we've got the wall set. So really working the quads here. Getting nice and sweaty. I love that, we've, we've earned it, of course we are. Sitting against the wall and go. So you wanna keep the chest up. And you want to make sure that you're thinking in right angles here so uh, there's a right angle at my knee joint there's a right angle at my hip joint so my thighs uh, are running parallel uh, to the ground in line with the ground staying nice and low breathing through so you can take this exercise as a little bit of a rest yes your quads might be trembling but the rest of you is having a nice relaxing sit down <laughs> keep holding it Awesome job. Then we've got some press ups. So lowering the body down, pushing back up, really working the upper body here. And go. So you can either do these as um, full press ups, so um, anchoring at the feet instead of the knees, or you can do them as I'm doing here with your knees bent. The more you bring the knees into the body, the easier it will be. But I want you to make sure that you're getting a really good form with this. So I want you to lower the body down to the ground so the nose just hovers just above the ground before you push back up, okay? I don't want you, you know, thrusting the hips towards the ground. No, this is working the upper body. So lower down before pushing back up. You are strong, you can do this. You are doing so, so incredibly well. Excellent job, well done. You're doing incredibly well. I'm so proud of you. I know it's tough because I'm right here doing it with you. Next up, we've got the reverse toe touch. Ready and go. So reaching one foot out towards the other or rather one hand out towards the opposite foot than what I was on about this, so it's my bad guys. Can you tell that I do these voiceovers in one take? You totally can't tell. I know, I'm so smooth. <laughs> so keeping the body lifted up above the ground, we're reaching one arm to the opposite toe. Breathing through, this is quite a functional movement again, using the whole body, staying balanced as we do those subtle shifts in the body weight or in what we're using to hold up the body. Excellent job and relax, well done. 
Next up, we've got the high knee skip. So what we're doing is we're halfway through and we're gonna repeat all the exercises that we've just done. Now you're absolutely smashing it. You know how to do these exercises and to do them well. Are you ready? And go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop chatting at you and I'm gonna let you carry on. And I want you to really go for it, okay? So motivate yourself. When it gets hard, tell yourself that actually no, you can do whatever you put your mind to. And if you decide to hang on for that extra five, 10 seconds, you will show yourself how incredibly powerful you are, not just physically, but mentally. You've absolutely got this. You're doing so well. And I'm really proud of you for embarking on this journey with me. I love you so much. You've got this. Give it your all. You can do it.
done you did it you have smashed this full body sweat workout i'm so so proud of you you've done so well we'll just do some gentle stretches to finish so reaching towards the toes 
Take some nice deep breaths. Inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count of four. If you can hold it, if you're not too short breath to hold it. We're gonna reach the head down towards the toes, pressing the chest into the thighs. As you take a deep breath, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings and the calves. Then just popping the ha hands behind you to support the upper body. We're gonna stretch out the hips, rotating the knees from one side to the other, working on some internal and external rotation there before lifting up the foot to the quad, the thigh of the opposite knee, the opposite leg, and we'll stretch out the glutes here. And do the same thing on the other leg. Amazing job. Then we're gonna come onto the front, reaching the fingertips out in front, press the hips back, press the chest towards the mat. As we feel the stretch in the upper body and the chest, and then bring those hips back down towards the feet into child's pose, relaxing here. Nice deep breath. And we're gonna walk up into downward dog walking the feet up towards the hands as we feel that nice stretch and slowly, slowly bring the hands towards the chest as we roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. You did it, well done, you've completed day one. Let me know how you found it in the comments. I'm so proud of you and I will see you back here for more tomorrow. I love you so much, bye. <laughs>